As a sommelier, I get asked all the time, Bill, what are you, what are you gonna drink for Thanksgiving? What do you pair with this? What do you pair with that? So we thought that we would go through and give some of my recommendations that are some good wines to have around the house, but also wines that would pair specifically with some of the more traditional items that you're gonna have on the dinner table this Thanksgiving. Um, for you kind of your white wines and your, your lighter style um, dishes, something that would pair well with green beans here, I recommend a couple of different things. Kind of get out of your comfort zone and explore some different wines this Thanksgiving. I have two selections that are um, some excellent um, offerings that are light, crisp, clean, fresh, dry white wines. Uh, this right here is a Albarino. Now Albarino is not a grape that's on a lot of people's radar, but I highly recommend that you go out and find, <clears throat> and find it. It has a lot of uh, citrus floral character to it. It's very aromatic, but it's also dry and crisp and light bodied. And so it's perfect with a lot of your uh, side dishes. And it would even be good with turkey if you were in the mood for, for white wine. Um, another uh, recommendation um, that I would suggest going out there and finding, it's a little bit off the radar as well, is Gruner Veltliner. This is a tremendous wine from uh, Hubert is a producer in Austria. Gruner Veltliner is grown in Austria predominantly. This thing rings in at $14 a bottle. So it's really, I mean, retail pricing, that's very easy to swallow. You can have several bottles of this on the table. Again, this doesn't see any oak. It's aged in stainless steel. It is um, and a grape that has kind of a natural green character to it. So you, while you do get some citrus character and some peach and floral notes to it, it also has these secondary characteristics of uh, what people would describe sometimes being lentil or radish or this kind of this green character to it. So it's kind of a, um, a different complexity that's offered. I think it would pair perfectly with uh, green beans. So let's go ahead and, uh, and see how this pairs up. We've got the Huber 2009. This is the Hugo Gruner Veltliner. Okay, so yeah, the nose on this wine, it comes through with the, that lemon, uh, lime character, some of the peachy citrus notes to it, but on the back you get this kind of uh, fresh cut celery and a little bit of like a lentil character to it, a little bit of radish, but it's just subtle. So it has that kind of vegetal characteristic to it. Yeah, really for, for $14 a bottle, this wine is great. It's fresh, it's zesty, it's crisp, it's dry, aged in stainless steel, high acid, so it goes with a lot of different foods. Um, you know, it'll be great to just kind of start off the meal uh, with this and then pair it with some of the different sides. Let's try one more and let's, let's try it here with the, uh, with the green beans right out of the can, see how it goes. Oh, delicious. Unbelievable pairing with the two. So go out there and try some Gruner Veltliner this Thanksgiving. Oh, delicious.